Shake your pancakes. What is that? That's so hot. Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Ah! This week, a hot, hot new you... stud comes onto the kitchen island. It's none other than Cam. I like a real humans. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be testing out viral TikTok breakfast recipes because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So this is your sign to start having spaghetti for breakfast. Get your yoga block. Zen stands on a yoga block when she films because she's short. She's a shorty. We're petite. We're petite. Assume your position with Cam. Our light's just there. Is our light always in there? No. Don't forget to thumb this video. Zen and Cam, they're both back. Cam is our camera. You guys know our camera very well. I've got my pancake mix here. I'm just gonna fill it up with water to the indicated line. Can you see the lines in? I can't see the line. It's making me want to pee. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your pancake. Shake your pancake. That did nothing. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Bartender making you a fancy pancake drink. How do you shake all that out? Yes. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your pancakes. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the pancake. It's like morning cardio. It's so plump, this thing now. You cannot even stand, like, properly. Is it gonna explode when I open it? It just hissed at me. Ah! Drag, drag. Oh my god, how fast do I have to do this? What kind of noodles and what kind of spaghetti is this? What? What is that? What is that? Okay, we'll just try it with this and see if it works. Here we go. Should it be connected? I'm gonna make it connected because I, I can't even like do a line. Why is it a dotted line? Why is it so hard? It kind of looks like it ish. Yeah. It's just with blobs. Okay, this is the problem, right? When you try to make like, the spaghetti line, you need to like have precision and you need to pause. But if it's too hot, your pancake spaghetti will burn. Yeah! Oh, my hand's kind of burning because it's hot. What are you doing it? I can't go faster. I think it's burning. How, how do I like cook the other side? It's just like a blob. This is hard work for pancakes. This is really hard work. Wow. That was the best one. Yeah. Mine's a fettuccine. Start of the video and I'm already tired guys. So we ended up making three types of pancake. If we were to rate the level of each one, I would say traditional pancakes, easiest, easy mode. Pancake cereal, medium. Takes a bit of effort, but it's it's good. Spaghetti pancake, hard to very hard. You need a lot of patience for this. We obviously have to try the one that took the longest. It's like noodles. Okay. Tastes good. Mm. I just wish it didn't take as long. It's good guys, if you have the patience and maybe there's another way to drizzle the pancake on to make the spaghetti an easy way and we're just the two stooges that couldn't use our last two brain cells to figure that out, let us know. Tastes good though, can't deny that. <laughs> Taste is a two thumb, effort is a one thumb. A little coins. This one we know we're good. Mm. Try the pancake cereal. Watch our, our other video when we made it. Yeah, we've made it before. Normal pancake. The only thing bad about normal pancakes, you gotta cut it. Mm. Mm. Okay. I feel like when the pancake is smaller, then you get a little bit more crispiness and tastes less like doughy, less cakey. So I do like it when it's either spaghetti or the cereal. Suddenly, normal pancake doesn't appeal to me as much. Isn't it weird? We use the same batter, it's just the size and you know how it's presented is different, but it actually affects the taste. Now, if you've had a hectic morning and you wanna take a break and relax, well, you can check out today's sponsor, Two Dots. What a good segue. Now, when Two Dots reached out to me, I was super excited because mom and I actually play this a lot on the iPad. It's our go-to like bonding time whenever Lila asleep and we have a little bit of time because it's quite relaxing and we can work on the puzzles together plus there 
is no time limit, so we can come back to the game at any time. We're currently stuck on level 255 and it gets quite challenging, guys, as you progress further. What I really like is the clean and minimalistic design to the game. It makes it easy to play, hence why they have over 150 million downloads globally. Plus, I like that there's different elements to the game. For example, there's a treasure hunt where you need to complete seven levels to unlock unique rewards. They also have weekly scavenger hunts where you can find hidden items on a map and the graphics are oh so cute. It kind of reminds me of my childhood game, Where's Wally? So all you guys need to do is download the game using my link below. It's free for all iOS and Android devices. Good luck and happy hunting. I was gonna try the linguine pancake. <laughs> it's weird. But I don't mind it. You don't mind it? Oh, I actually like it. You like it? Yeah. You don't know how long it took us to make yeah. that. Did you just squeeze it on the pan and that's it? I thought so too. You'll have to watch this video to see how this was made. Yeah, this is pretty good. Thumbs up. Yeah. Here's a fast yet hearty breakfast option. Easy breakfast idea. Prep time only five minutes. Potato, bacon, and egg. Okay, I've got two patatas here. Let's poke them. Ow, don't poke me. How many holes do I need? I've never microwaved a potato. It's kind of hard. How long do we microwave for? Okay, so the potatoes are cooked and I just want to be upfront with you guys. That took a lot longer than five minutes. It took about seven or eight minutes to microwave these babies until they were soft. Five minute prep, it's a lie. It's a lie. The prep is five minutes. The cooking? Yeah. Is it? Guys, is prep, maybe it is prep time and cooking time is it different? I'm thinking five minutes for this whole recipe. It's gonna take more than five minutes just to peel these hot potatoes. <gasps> so hot, how did you peel it? I'm using my nails and I can already tell it's gonna take a while. Potato peel. Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh. <sighs> so hot. Hot potato, hot potato. Yep, fly the terror song. Hot potato, hot potato. I'm sweaty. Why are all the recipes so hard today? Breakfast, I don't have time to spend half an hour making breakfast. Unless it's a really good breakfast. <laughs> it's so hot. Ow, 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 ow. Can I just eat the skin? Surely you could, right? I washed it. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna scoop some of that out. In goes some cheese. I just made mashed potato. Season it. Some salt. In goes the cheesy mash I just made. So I'm gonna put this in the air fry and then Zen is gonna crack the egg on top. Me? I, yeah, I'm really bad at cracking eggs. I'm here for support. It's okay, you can do it, you can do it. Pull it out. <laughs> Maybe pour some of the yolk in that. I mean, yeah, yeah. The egg's way too big. But that just gets a yolk, there's no egg white on it. Oh well, is our egg too big or is our potato too small? <laughs> It's okay. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. The potato's too small. Potato's fault. It's the Why ingredients. Why is the egg fault. so big? <laughs> well, it's too late to take it out. We've just got to cook it. Now I need to carefully. Ah! I need to care. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I'm just doing it for ten minutes. We'll see if it cooks. So. My egg is a little bit more cooked than her one because my bacon was raw, so I had to ensure that it was cooked. Probably should have added my egg in later, but let's just have a taste test. It does look and smell quite delicious. Oh, hot. Oh. Mm. It's actually very delicious, guys. Oh, I should have made three. Give me the bacon. Oh. Mm. 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 Yes. The potato looked like an explosion after we cut it. Don't look at it. <laughs> yes? I would love this for breakfast all the time, actually. It's actually really good. Wow. 
That's a double thumbs, guys. It's like got everything, all the elements that I love in a good breakfast. Like it's got the carbs, the potato, and then the bacon. It's got that crispiness. It's got the cheesy potato and then the egg on top. It would be nice if the egg was a little bit runny, but we know for next time. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this next recipe has over 10 million views. Say hello to your new favorite grilled cheese hack. Just grab a slice of thick, soft white bread and get rid of the crusts. Then grab a rolling pin and roll it until it's nice and thin. And then sprinkle over some finely grated cheddar and just squish it down with your hand. Then very carefully but quite tightly roll it up. Secure the seam with a little bit of melted butter and then brush it all over with a little bit more melted butter. Whack them in a pan over medium heat and just rotate them until they're golden all around and the cheese is just starting to melt out. And that's it, you're good to go. <laughs> Bam! Sorry guys, mum duties. I need to pump because Lila's hungry, but I also need to film this video because it's taking me forever to make breakfast. So uh, don't mind, um, don't mind what's happening here. Anyways. I don't think you cannot mind this. Oh my God. Let's make some grilled cheese rolls. I'm going to cut the crust off some bread and flatten it. Next, I'm going to sprinkle some cheese. My cheese is not as finely grated as his, but it will do. And I'm going to roll it up and seal the edges off with a little bit of butter. Then I'll brush on a layer of butter on top and then I'll make another two rolls. Now that we're ready to fry it, I'm going to hand it over to my lovely Zen over here because I don't want to be too close to the flame, just in case. When I stand on the side, it's even worse because it's like warping my body. No, we stand this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a working mom, guys. Gotta do what I gotta do. Come on. Ooh, that's nice. It's looking good. They look so good, Zen. You did an amazing job grilling these. I'm gonna dip mine in ketchup because I dip everything in ketchup. You do you. I'm doing me. It looks like mini burritos, like like tiny, skinny burritos. Cheers. Wait, do I dip it or? Well, you don't have okay. to. I'm I'm just a dipper, you know. Mm. No, I got. I like it. I feel like I'm kind of eating like a chip sandwich roll. I don't know, it's crispy. You can't really tell that it's bread because it's flattened so much and then it's got that cheesiness, ooey gooey inside. So it's really good. I like it. I like it. Highly rate this one. Double thumb. Just get double thumb. Double pour. I'm done pumping. Oh, not bad. Not bad for today's harvest. Keeping it real. Oh, this, oh, this boob's an underperformer. Sorry. So what happens when you have a baby? Breakfast for us, breakfast for Lila. Breakfast for Lila. Here's your milky. Say hi. <laughs> so she wants it. You want it? Mummy just made that for you. Fresh, it's nice and hot. So this is not your average breakfast sandwich. It's a Korean breakfast sandwich. Cam's back. Then back. Cam, is this your boyfriend? The only faithful one I have. The only faithful boyfriend. <laughs> Zen needs a boyfriend, guys. So if you have anyone, please tag them or like link their Instagram below so you can yeah, go stalking. Yeah. Yeah, see? You know how people are usually against it? She's like, no, yes, sure. yes, hook me up, hook me up. Eligible bachelors only, thank you. This is Love Kitchen Island. Love Kitchen, oh my god. Welcome to Love Kitchen Island. We have Cam here, who's been single all his life, and then there's Zen, also single all her life. Match made. Match made on Kitchen Island. This week, a hot, hot new you... stud comes onto the Kitchen Island. It's none other than Cam. Don't call me up, I'm going out tonight, feeling good. 
Hi, I'm Kim. I'm just looking for someone to push my buttons. <laughs> you know, like how they have the voiceover. <laughs> we watch too much trash TV. Zen, That's what we watch. I'm just looking for an Instagram husband. <laughs> this one, he will take my Instagram photos for me. It's very sad. There's that um, name where you fall in love with objects. I don't know what it's called. No, that is not me, guys. I like real men. I like real humans. <laughs> real humans. Okay, back to today's cooking show. This Korean breakfast sandwich looks amazing and I feel like each of us are gonna want our own so I'm gonna make a bigger batch. Here I have some chopped up cabbage. I'm gonna add in some carrots. I'm gonna put in three eggs, season with salt and pepper and then give that a good mix. Here's our lovely mixture. I'm going to fry this. <laughs> a rectangular shape, flip it and attempt to fold it. This is quite, this is the task. Okay, let me, let me just, let me just try. Oh, we gotta grill the, the, the bread first. Oh, we gotta grill the bread first. One. Oh my god, I think I need a bigger pan. Oh, no. Yeah. I could probably just use a toaster, right? But uh, I don't have a toaster anyway. Ow! <laughs> okay, this will be the pretty one. <laughs> Japanese chefs. I'm a tempanyaki chef yeah. right now. The challenge is to flip this. Oh, that was a good flip. <laughs> I'm gonna apply, apply. It's like skincare. I'm going to apply mustard onto this sandwich and then keeping mayo because that's my fave. I'm running out though. <laughs> I've hit pan. I'm really running out guys. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, we need to cut it. We need to cut it. Oh my God, it's such a thick sandwich. Oh, looks so good. It's hot. Should have put ketchup. Hold on, hold that thought. It just needs a little bit of ketchup and then it'll be perfect. Ketchup, ketchup. Mmm. Yes. We're gonna make Zen a separate one because she doesn't like mustard, so she can't have my half. Guys, guys, guys. I've been missing out. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make you one. Zen added sriracha on hers and it's a good move. I tasted it, it's really good. Mm. 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 Like everything just isn't overpowering. It's kind of subtle, but like the textures, it's got that crunch of the cabbage and then obviously the saltiness of the ham. And then depending on the sauce that you put on, it just adds either sweetness, spiciness. It's a winner, guys. It's a winner. I'd have this for lunch. It's not just a breakfast sandwich. Mm. Mm. Karine's know how to make breakfast sandwiches, that's for sure. My poor darling biscuit, she smells the delicious food and she cannot eat it. Mm -hmm. Alfred left already, but I'm pretty sure he confirmed it's a double thumb. We've come to the end of this video and breakfast took me all day to make. But in saying that, I actually found some really good recipes. Love the Korean breakfast sandwich, the breakfast potato. Oh my gosh, you need to try that. Grilled cheese rolls were simple yet delicious. The pancake just took a lot of effort, believe it or not. A big thanks to Two Dots for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to download the free game using my link below. Don't forget to thumb this video. <laughs> it's like the happy dance when you like, the one you do when you're full and you eat yummy food. Make one more sandwich. <laughs> Let's make one more sandwich. <laughs> Bum doo 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 do